Oh, hey! Welcome to another What I Eat in a Day. My name is Taylor A. Norris and I am a holistic health coach specializing in raw food as well as Reiki for healing of the mind, body, soul, and spirit bringing down that spiritual awakening into the radiant health of the human body. So let's get started. What the heck do I eat in a day? My question to you though is, why do you wanna know what I eat in a day? Drop it below in the comments. I am curious because my last what I eat in a day video was super popular for my channel. And I was like, why are people so curious about what I eat in a day. I would love to know. Please, please, please share below. And let's get into the food. So this morning is starting off like other mornings with my hot lemon herb tonic. I'm just gonna pour myself a cup of that real quick in my little, my little butterfly flower teacup here. And in this hot lemon herb tonic, We've got half of a lemon, as well as some parsley, some ginger, some turmeric, fresh roots. And it's a very delicious, nourishing, grounding, amazing elixir to start my day. Better than coffee. Next up is my celery juice. And this is just over two cups, just over 16 ounces of fresh pressed celery juice made with my horizontal Omega NC 800 juicer, which is phenomenal. She lives underneath the counter. Okay, I'll show you. This one here, and it's the best juicer for celery that I've ever experienced. Highly recommend it. Juices apples really well too. Omega NC 800. I'm not a sponsor, I'm not an affiliate. I'm just a home girl who likes stuff that works well. So I practice intermittent fasting and I do not consume this until about noon usually. 11, 11.30, noon. Uh, my eating window was from around 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. And now just naturally over time as I've practiced intermittent fasting for longer, it's now more like noon to six and just that seems to be when my body wants to eat and so i honor that and this is how i break my fast it's super hydrating and electrolyte balancing it highly 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 recommend you get on board especially those of you coming to a raw vegan lifestyle with digestive issues like myself now this really helps now you're coming outside with me because we have some work to do we have some coconuts to open and I'll show you my little coconut stash. It's awesome. I am in Hawaii on the big island and I found a dude, Johnny Coconuts, shout out to Johnny, who has some super fresh, amazing coconuts that best coconuts of my life. Okay. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding around and I'm, I am picky when it comes to my food and beverages. So, these are a couple young ones here. We got these two right here, a little bit older. Here, I'll show you. Got this whole stash here. Some of these are older. I will have to hack into them with a machete, but they are delicious and worth it. And these are a bit younger. He said these will be poppers that I can use with the tool I'm about to use, but it doesn't really matter. I've gotten super good at using the machete to open coconuts right here. New skill. This is what happens when you become raw vegan and you move to the tropics and you like to drink coconuts. You have to cultivate some machete skills. So what I'm using here is a tool for young coconuts and it's awesome because no machete needed. What I do is I pop off the little top flower looking part here. Hopefully, of course y'all can't see. 
Somehow I'm always by the kitty litter box. I'm sorry about that, but that just is how it is. So this is the part we're popping off here. The little flower looking part. And you can see right here is where we will put this sharp end in. And simply twist. It's kind of like a wine opener, corkscrew. Twist it out, this little core comes out. There's no hard coconut shell in there, which is why we just dump her over, pour her out, and all this beautiful coconut water comes out. As you can see, I've got my turmeric edition nut milk bag ready to strain this out for me so that any little particles, you know, I can strain out. And I'm gonna go dump this in the blender and come back and open another one. As you can see, Naga really likes when I open coconuts, especially the ones with meat in them, because I don't eat the coconut meat, but she does. She loves it. So in my morning elixir, I like to, I usually am opening about two young coconuts for about four cups of coconut water. And then throughout the day, if I want more coconut water, I help myself. It's something I drink unlimited. And that's that. Nice and easy. I got another two cups. We'll go back inside and make the Coco Kang green elixir. Mm -hmm. If you're not dancing while you're making your food, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> or at least having some fun. And all my food prep I do in the morning. Because I got other things to do than make food all day. So, we got four cups of coconut water going on in here. And then, I'm gonna put some green powders. And I talked about this in my last What I Eat In A Day video. Are green powders necessary? No, but they can be helpful for getting into micronutrients, especially if you have any kind of deficiencies or if you're having a lot of cravings. It's like, you might not need more macronutrients, you might not need more calories, but you, your body might be crying out for more micronutrients. And sometimes the greens that we have access to in the stores aren't grown in amazing soil. So buying something like a green powder I'm putting in a little chia seed for healthy omega-3 fats also, which helps you uptake the micronutrients in your greens. So the green powders, often the greens used in the green powders, if you pick your green powders carefully, they're grown in really good soil. So they'll have a lot of the nutrients that are missing from the greens you buy at the grocery store. Now, if you're ready to take it to the next level, you're on a plant-based lifestyle, you're on a raw vegan lifestyle. You want to start growing some food. I highly, 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 highly encourage you to start growing some food. Whether it's planting a fruit tree, starting a garden, planting a tomato plant, anything. How this looks for me is sprouts and microgreens. And as you can see in the corner here, I have some sprouts, broccoli, and two different kinds of radish. I keep those going at all times. They're very, very easy. And then this is the lovely assortment of microgreens I have growing here. Buckwheat, sunflower, older sunflower, cabbage, the ultimate hydroponic mix with beautiful amaranth. Amaranth, peas, which I already harvested once and this is its second grow, chive. And in here, there are two trays that are blacked out that are germinating. We have more chives and we have another, what was it? The ultimate hydroponic mix that I planted this morning. I'll be doing more cabbage soon, but I'm always, always, always growing the microgreens and sprouts because it's the most nutritious, freshest green that I could possibly eat. And it's a lot of fun. It's a new hobby. It makes you feel good and feel more connected to your food. So highly, highly recommend you grow some microgreen sprouts, garden, plant a fruit tree, whatever speaks to you. So what else is going in here? Some stuff that I grew. 
I store them in these green bags so they last longer in the fridge. Because as you can see, I'm only one person. I'm not feeding anybody else except the cat. She doesn't eat microgreens. And I eat all of those myself. I'm not selling them. I'm not giving them away typically. Um, so I've learned to store them well, harvest a lot, store them in a green bag that lets them exhale what they need to exhale. It doesn't take in any additional oxygen and gases. So these are some pea microgreens. I'm gonna add some of these in here. I'm not measuring, I'm just, I'm just vibing it out. Some days I like, I really pack it in. I'll put in like eight cups. Other days, maybe it's a little less because you'll see what else I eat in the day. You're like, oh, that's why she was doing that. But yeah, these are sunflower microgreens and they are so beautiful. Little sunflower, say hello. This is what the pea looks like. It's like a little shooty baby. They're awesome. And these two, I really like the flavor for smoothies, for sweeter smoothies. Um, they're nicer. I don't like to use like radish microgreens in a sweet smoothie. Some people are into that. Personally, I've tried that and it, I like my smoothie to taste sweet. So I'm gonna get one more ingredient. Our final ingredient here is fresh pressed sugar cane juice. And I get this locally. I will actually be showing you where I get it later today when we go have some lunch, a very special lunch. But this cane juice is absolutely sweet and it's actually low glycemic. You wouldn't believe it. And the sugar cane technically counts as a green juice because it's a grass. It's a big stalk of grass. So here is the beautiful elixir to be. All right, she's all ready. Letting that air out because I vacuum sealed her in. Ooh, muscle. And into my insulated thermos it goes because again, I'm not gonna be drinking this until later on it's earlier in the morning now and I'm not gonna drink this until after my celery juice which I'll have around noon and this after that so yeah we go it looks it looks red. and sometimes what I'll do if I have extra like this that doesn't fit I just will put it in the top of my celery juice which is handy because I'm not that strict about having my celery juice straight up. Most days I do, but sometimes it's like this. All right, camera angles, y'all, it's hard. I, I'll i work on it, I'll work on it. But basically what we, go on, go, what we got going on here is dinner prep. And again, it's early in the morning. Um, I like to knock it all out in the morning so that it's not come five o'clock and I haven't done anything for dinner. It's like, I know what I'm gonna have. It's gonna be phenomenal and that's just how I roll. So what we got going on here, as you can see, I've already done some work. I've chopped some things up. I've got garlic, celery, red onion, cilantro, sun-dried tomatoes, medjool dates, serrano pepper. We've got some lemon juice that will be squeezed. We've got some Frontier brand Italian seasonings and we've got some homemade pecan butter. And friends, this is, this is good stuff here. I actually, I did not buy this. I soaked the pecans myself overnight, drained, rinsed, and then I blended it in the food processor, just the soaked pecans so that this is, this is actually nut butter made with soaked nuts, which I think a lot of times they're not soaking the nuts to make the nut butter. They just grind in those nuts. And so sometimes the nut butter can be a bit harder to digest. So what's happening? This is, first off, this is not my recipe. This is Tani Raw's cucumber noodles with sweet and spicy sauce. I got this recipe when I did her group coaching. It's in one of her books. I don't know which one. Um, she might've shared it on her YouTube channel Tanny Raw. You can 
type in cucumber noodles with sweet and spicy sauce into her search bar, see if it comes up there. She also shares her recipes on her Instagram page, at Tammy Raw. It might be there, might be a little harder to find, but I'm not gonna give you the recipe because it's not my recipe and that, that would just not be cool. And Tani is my, is one of my raw vegan mentors. She's, she's phenomenal. Pretty much all the prep is done. I have this all laid out. It will go into this bowl here to marinate and I'm gonna make some cucumber noodles because that will be the base of this delicious noodle recipe. Mm. And you may be thinking, why are you making your cucumber noodles so early? Because I'm actually gonna let them strain and drain in my nut milk bag and collect all that cucumber juice so that the flavor of this recipe will be more concentrated and it won't be watered down. And yet I'll still be able to enjoy that cucumber juice. Yum. We're almost there, and as you can see, I used this little hand spiralizer that I got at Walmart for like $7, $8. I've had a lot of different spiralizers, and I like the hand spiralizer. As you can see, I'm getting kind of a workout with it, but you know, it's, it's good, it's small, it's good if you don't have a whole lot of space. And these little parts here, I just save, and I will chop those up. So we got lots of kudos four cucumbers worth. And I will eat all of this for dinner. Y'all say this is huge. Next step is we're putting our koodles in the nut milk bag, turmeric edition. And just stuff them on in there. You could use a colander, but I don't have a colander and the nut milk bag. Man, I am getting my $8 worth out of it. I tell you what, I use it three times a day some days, four times a day. Use it all the time. And so those are all bagged up. And as you can see, look at this. Tons of juice is already just coming out. And I can, I'll squeeze this periodically, um, but the juice will just drain out itself. And I just leave that sitting, hanging out and collect the juice and I will drink that juice later on. And as for all of this goodness, we're gonna put it in this bowl here. Some Italian herbs. Do our lemon juice next. I removed all the seeds that I could find. And this isn't even, this is her recipe modified a bit because I have trouble following a recipe exactly and also like use substitutions for what you like and what you can find in your area. Got a little spoon, mix these ingredients together and I will add the rest of this goodness. All these beautiful textures, flavors. And this really creates a tridoshic dinner experience where you're sweet, you're salty, you're sour, you're spicy. All the different tastes are satisfied and nourished, astringent, pungent, all of them. Highly recommend it. I love finding raw recipes or creating raw recipes of my own that are truly tridoshic and hit all of those taste buds. As you can tell, I like it spicy. I am more of a, my vata energy is high right now. So this, the hot pepper is, is very nice and balancing for me. Now, if my pizza was high, I would be avoiding this. I also, as you can see, I eat garlic and onions and I'll, I'll do a whole video or at least touch on that at some point, but I find it's really important for my line of work actually to eat garlic and onions. Look at this yummy heartiness. This dinner is gonna be so tasty. So satisfying, it smells so good. You might be thinking, that's a lot of food prep. That's a lot of time. Oh my gosh, I don't have that much time. I don't have time to grow my greens or open my own coconuts or any of that stuff, that's okay. You know, your raw vegan lifestyle is gonna look different than mine. Mine is gonna look different than someone else's. 
I can really simplify this and make it faster and make it more simple. Like when I'm traveling, it's like, you know, I'm just eating some mangoes. It's we're making a cucumber, tomato, avocado salad, little lime juice, little garlic, done. You know, I'm buying cane juice on the road, that kind of thing. Um, so that it, you can make simpler meals, but also like wake up earlier, wake up at four in the morning if you have to, to prep your meals. I've definitely, I've done that in different situations where I'm working a nine to five job, eight to five job, etc. You make it happen. It's worth it. It's so worth it. And really think about how long does it actually take you when you're ordering takeout or you're ordering like fast food, fast food restaurant food, right? You have to like drive to the restaurant, you have to wait in the line, you have to place the order, wait for them to make it, then you receive it, you're paying, you drive home, get home, then you're opening up and eating it. That, that could have taken an hour and that was just one meal versus I can do all my prep for the day and it's one hour tops and it's this magnificent array of glorious food that's gonna nourish my divine sacred body temple. And it's so worth the radiant health and the spiritual awakening benefits that you receive as a result of being raw vegan. And if you're interested in learning more about what those are and how to achieve those, I'm teaching that in the Best Kept Secrets of Radiant Health and Spiritual Awakening. It is a free course for people on my email list, my Earth Angel community. And if that sounds like something you're interested in, please join us. The sign up link will be in the description. It's really, really awesome. Thank you so much for being here. I have a favor to ask. If you like my content, if you like this video, please subscribe to this YouTube channel, my channel, Taylor A. Norris, because I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers so that I can live stream from my phone because y'all, I go cool places. I live in Hawaii. I travel a lot. There's a lot I want to share and I would love to be able to live stream from my phone and you need a thousand subscribers to do that. And y'all, I am pumping out the content. The ideas are flowing. I will do more what I eat in a day videos. I'm going to be doing all kinds of different videos. I'm doing lives on my webcam right now and the quality is not that great, but there's a lot of content that's coming forward from me on this channel so it will benefit you to subscribe and please if if you resonate then i i would appreciate it so much if you subscribe i would love to have you as one of my earth angels i had to stop the car and tell y'all i just took a sip of my smoothie that i made the elixir it's 1 32 and i'm finally getting around to this i've been really busy and it tastes like chocolate milk today i'm not even kidding you it's so good It's the bomb. It's the bomb. Chocolate milk. Who would have thought? That's how it turned out. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna enjoy this and drive on over to where we're gonna eat some lunch. Yo, check it out. This is what's happening for lunch. We're at Sweet Cane Cafe. These flowers smell so good. This is a durian cacao smoothie. Very thick, very chocolatey, delicious. And as if that's not enough durian, we got a durian mocha raw vegan pie with those ingredients. And I'll show y'all what it looks like. This is it, and it's frozen. So I like to drink the smoothie first and let this thaw out. And then it's just creamy, dreamy goodness. And they do the fresh pressed cane juice here. So I'm gonna take that home with me. And then I have a gallon of cane juice, which I know, I know, I know what y'all I know you be, may be thinking like, oh my god, that's in plastic, that's not cool. And yeah, actually I, I talked to them and was like trying to recycle the, the bottles that it comes in. And I'm still looking for a better solution, but as of now I am buying the gallon jugs and then I'm reusing them for water hauling. I buy my own reverse osmosis water from a place and I'll take my own reusable containers and reuse these gallons that way. So that's one way I'm working with it, but I'm definitely open for other solutions to come to light. Maybe I could bring my own gallon glass jug and they could fill that. We'll see what's possible. Cheers. It smells so good. Like durian. Do y'all like durian? Let me know below. From where? Well, originally, but she thought.
Mm. It's so thick. It's so good. I'm gonna eat it with a spoon. Y'all ready for the taste test of this pie here? Can y'all see? Oh my, my lappy. We came in the car because I'm cold and almost ready. Well, I'm gonna enjoy this pie and then I have some other things to do, but here, I wish I could share it with you. It's really, it's so good. It melted down a little bit, so it's really creamy. And then there's that crustiness on the bottom with the dates and mac nuts and almonds, I think, and a little raw chocolate on top. And mm, it's scrumptious. It's such a treat, my favorite treat. I'm all finished. It was so good. And I have so much energy because there is some cacao in here. There is a little bit of coffee as well for flavoring. And some of y'all might know I'm like a recovering cacao addict. So I really have to watch myself. And cacao is something I have once a week. And that's it. That's it. And I'm also open to taking it ceremonially, which I wouldn't do more than once, maybe a year or, or maybe more frequently. I haven't done it ceremonially in six years, just to give you an example, but it is something I will be doing in ceremony when I visit Costa Rica in the end of March. I'm so excited. But yes, I really enjoyed that. And as you can tell, I have lots of energy, lots of ideas going, and I'm going to drive home and then I'm going to go on a walk and burn some of this off. The energy that is not the freaking calories or anything. I eat an appropriate amount of calories to fuel my body. And y'all, I find that I really eat as much as I want and I'm able to maintain my weight but it took me a while to get here and to really heal enough so that I can eat a bit more intuitively within certain parameters that are unshakable for example I was just in the health food store I was looking at some raw vegan wraps and they were on sale and I was like "Ooh, I really should buy these you know all these people on Instagram are you know, showing all these wraps and they look so good and I can make freaking gorgeous wraps. And I looked at the ingredients and I was looking for salt. There was actually no salt, which check, surprise. Um, but there was coconut oil and immediately in my head it went off. I don't need oil, pass. So I put down the wraps and I kept going. So having some parameters like I do not consume salt, I do not consume oil, helps me stay on track so that I can tune into my body and allow certain treats that do serve me and know which things don't serve me on the whole. This really helps a lot, especially coming from a background of food addiction and like bulimia, like some disordered eating and body image issues. So I hope that helps clear things up. What up party people? It's a little late now actually for me. I'm just getting around to dinner. I had all these downloads on my walk and I was like, gotta type them all like before I forget, you know, while it's all clear and fresh. So what are we doing? We're making the koodles. I'm gonna point you down. Woo, dang, there we go. So you can see I've got the koodles. Now my, my phone is gonna wanna fall down. Goodness, I need a different tripod. Anyway, here we go. Koodles here. And we got this mixture that's been marinating and goodness all day. Super flavorful. Talk about satisfying, satiating. And I'm gonna mix this together and massage it and just really, you know, work it all in a lot in this bowl. I could totally use a bigger bowl. My bigger bowl is currently holding a whole bunch of crystals and I could really switch it out for this bowl. I think that would actually work better. But yeah, okay, so I'm gonna go to the hands because that's just, it's not cutting it. 
the hands are, oh my God, then, okay. Talked about this in other recipe videos, but you can really put your intentions and your energy, if you have Reiki or energy healing that you do, you could put this in there, you know, may this nourish me in mind, body, soul, and spirit. May it digest super well. May this feed all my cells beautifully, fueling them with exactly what they need and helping them run better. May this food help me cultivate more love, love within myself, integration of all aspects of my ego so that I can show up in my full strength, my full power, and show more love to others and be of greater service to others and be more aligned with my values and sharing. May my ego surrender to my higher self and accomplish the mission that I am here to do, that only I can do. That's my prayer. What's your prayer? Do you do this? Do you think about your prayers and your intentions when you work with your food? If not, I encourage you to do that. Why not? Give it a try. What am I doing here? I'm making kind of a a bowl within the bowl of, of the koodles. I don't know, it feels right. I'm just playing with my food. As I said in my last What I Eat In A Day video, play with your food, have fun with it. This should be fun. You should feel like a little kid. It shouldn't feel like, you know, terrible or something. So we're actually gonna change gears for purely photographic reasons. Changing ideas, we're switching bowls out. Actually, I'm gonna put it in even, we're gonna get all, we're getting all the dishes dirty. Cause sometimes that's what it takes. And guess who's cleaning them all up? Me, but I don't care. I'll put on some tunes and it'll be fun. We've got it in the correct bowl here. Yeah, see, that fits a lot better. The other bowl was too big. And what we're gonna do now is the, the next level playing. I'll show y'all. We've got this here. Some other things, some sprouts, microgreens, heart of palm, right here. All right, we're gonna do, what are we gonna do? We're gonna put, we're gonna put little bits of the microgreens on and in this, like this, you know? Just what feels fun and pretty because we're having fun we're being creative in the kitchen i might do a little heart of palm here and here and ooh, we're going around in a little swirly i'm always going in a swirly it seems all right and we got some avocado coming in this is an avocado that I actually opened too early because one of my other ones was rotting on me and I panicked and I opened one too early. But then, so I cut it in half and then I stuck it back together and it ripened. And I'll try it, I'll have to make sure it, it tastes okay, but I'm sure I'm gonna try and eat it. Fan this out real nice. Like that, y'all can't see it, there it is. Then we're gonna do a little, a little woo -woo. some chili flakes up in the house. Yes, always, y'all. I like it hot, I like it spicy. How about you? And then a little bit of the, the wakame up in her. You know? A little bit of that. Right there. It's like, where are the noodles? I don't know. Are there even noodles? <laughs> yeah, maybe more like that so you can see the noodles there. But yeah, that's what's going on in our bowl. And I got these chopsticks today because I don't like to eat noodles with anything other than chopsticks. It just, it feels wrong. So here we go. That's what we got. We got cabbage microgreens there. We got the ultimate hydroponic mix. We got chad microgreens. We got additional heart of palm. I've got more avocado if I want it, but you know, we shall see. So now I'm gonna go outside and bring you with me and we're gonna take some pictures and then I'm gonna eat it. 
I am very excited to tuck into this bowl of nourishment I've got here, this, this platter of nourishment. I want to thank you for tuning in to What I Eat in a Day, and we will do more of these videos for sure. I definitely appreciate you watching this and highly encourage you to sign up for my free course. I am giving a free mini course on the best kept secrets of radiant health and spiritual awakening where I share the tools and techniques that I've used to absolutely transform my health and uplift the integrity and capacity of my mind, body, soul, and spirit. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, sign up. It's free. The link will be in the description. Please subscribe if you want more. More What I Eat In A Day videos, more other content having to do with raw foods, Reiki, spirituality, health, all kinds of holistic health topics I chat about here and share about from, from the heart. So like this video if you like it. Subscribe for more. Much love to you. Namaste, friend. Shine on. Shine on.